Welcome to the third part of this tutorial series where we're creating a quiz game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be adding the functionality to answer the questions with these four buttons. So let's begin. To get started, we're going to go to first our first, our button A and we want to go to the text and decrease its size just so that we have enough space to add the full text of each of our answers so we're going to go to button b and do the same um which is basically just decreasing the size of the text uh, we can increase it a little bit more here and decrease the size of this as well um okay and now we just need to decrease the size of button D. And there we go. Now all the buttons have smaller text. So what we want to do is we're going to add the different choices for the question based on which question we are on currently. So the first question we have is question one. So let's duplicate these two five different answers for each of them. So we're able to keep track of which question we are answering currently. So let's just duplicate all of these and duplicate our final one button D and, and that's the final one duplicated. Now we can add the questions or answers to the questions in our game. So we want to make sure that we're in answer one for all of these. So just change the one you're editing to answer one. And then we're going to make our first answer 21. And as you can see in the question code, the correct answer is A, which we've made 21. Now let's go to our costume and edit answer one B, make this 20, make C 212 and make D 174. So now we have the the answers, um, the possible answers for all um, all four of the choices. So now let's go to question two. Who holds the men's 100 meter record? So make sure to switch this to answer two and we can have Kevin Hart as our first potential answer. And for button B, go to answer two and make this uh, Drake. And button C, which our correct answer should be, we will make this Usain Bolt. And button D, we'll make that um, Bob Marley. We can make that Bob Marley. Okay, now we have all the all the different options for our question two. Now let's do question three. How many countries are there in the continent Africa? So we can make this 15. We can make B 54, make C 34, make D six or uh, make D 63. So what I am doing each time is just switching over to the right answer. We want to switch it each time. And we're making sure that B is the correct answer. So now we want the correct answer to be D in our next question, which is which mountain is the tallest in the world? And for this, we can go to button A and start with answer four. So let's make um, A K2. Um, we can make answer f four for B. Um, Cho Oyu sounds like an Asian mountain. Um, and this one is a mountain in Africa, the Congo mountain. And the most famous mountain in the world, Mount Everest. And that is the correct answer for this one, which is supposed to be D. And our final question is, which river is the longest in the world? So let's go to answer five and change the choices to the Nile River. Um, button B can be the Amazon. Button C can be Everest. 
uh yeah yeah we can have the everest river sure that doesn't exist but it's part of the choices and then our last one would be yellow but actually let's make this there's also a river called orange that's actually that's actually interesting two color um rivers and there we go now we have all the all the um questions um all the question choices for our game now we can go to our backdrop and in the link in the description there is a sound there is a sound that you can download which is the correct answer sound and the wrong answer sound effect so we'll just import the both of them and go to the the code and say when flag is clicked we want to set the volume of this to five that's because this is a pretty loud sound effect so we don't need it that loud and then we're going to say when I receive correct answer and we're going to create another message called wrong answer and we say when I receive wrong answer um, we want to play wrong answer and then we're going to play right answer the correct answer when I receive correct answer now we want to go to the button script in our game so we'll start off with our button a and we'll say when flag is clicked we'll go to the looks and set the color effect to 105 and what this will do is set this to blue what setting the color effect just changes the color of the sprite we're currently on and then we're also going to change another effect which is called ghost we want our ghost to be zero and we're going to create another variable and this one is going to be called disabled and it's very important to tick for the sprite only and then we click ok and we want to set um, our, our variable disabled to false and what this disabled variable will um, do is determine whether or not we're able to press on the button or not if it's disabled we won't be able to press it now we can go to the control and bring in a forever loop and bring in two if statements or we actually only need one we only need one and then we'll go to looks and we're going to switch the the costume to question number so whichever question we're on will determine the will determine the costume number we're on as well now we can go to operators and bring one and operator um, another and operator and one final and operator so we're going to have um, four four blocks for this and and all these conditions have to be met the first one will be mouse down and we're also going to have touching mouse pointer so this is just going to determine if we are pressing on this um, button or not and then after that we also want to look with two equals operators the first one being if disabled is equal to false so after that we also want to look um okay so we only need one if statement because if we use another one it will it won't work properly so now let's go to the control we need an if else statement for this next um condition so for this one we're going to say um bring in the equal operator back and say if correct answer equals to the letter of button we're on and this letter and the letter button we're on is a and if correct answer equals to a then we want to go to looks and set the color to zero or no actually not zero but let's set it to 50 and what we can see here is it turns the button green and after that once we set the color to green we want to broadcast um we want to broadcast correct answer and after we've broadcasted correct answer we're going to wait um, 0 0.5 seconds before we're able to press again we don't want to be able to spam on this button and then we're going to go to looks and we're going to set the color back to a hundred and five and then we want to go into the else operator let's just duplicate this and instead of it being 50 we're going to have it be zero set it to the wrong answer and before we wait 0 0.5 seconds we just remove this set and instead we're going to set the ghost effect to 50. and then we're going to go to variables and set disabled to true 
So now if we test this, oh, we misspelled false right here. So let's just rename this to the correct false. Now if we test this, we're going to notice that this is correct because in the first question, um, A is the correct answer. But if we press it again, we're going to notice it's wrong and we won't be able to press on it again. It won't um, be able to be pressed again. So now let's go to events and say when I receive correct answer, then we're going to set the disabled variable to false. And then we're going to go to looks and set the ghost effect to zero and then bring in an if else statement and bring in an equals to operator and go to variables and say if correct answer equals to a if this was the correct answer that we've just um, pressed on then we can go to events or not pressed on but if this is the correct answer um, for for this round then we're going to say wait 0 0.5 seconds and we can then set um, the color to back to 105 which is the blue default state and then just duplicate this and instead make this 0 0.2 now we're going to bring um, these two sprites to the other buttons um, bring this to button C and bring this to button D as well now what we're going to do is change this to B and B change this to oh, we haven't imported this properly let's bring this to C and make this C and C only changing the if correct answer um, operator and then make this D and D so now we've changed this and this is actually now um, all we all we need I believe and one thing you don't need to worry about is the disabled variable if we go to button B we'll see that it's created its own disabled variable for itself um, so we can actually go to the rest of the buttons and just disable that and now what we'll notice is if we give the correct answer um, we'll be able to go on um, what's this here the tallest mountain oh it's supposed to be Everest not Congo so let's go to button C costume um, and make this oh which one have we done incorrectly let's so what we'll go do is go to our question and the correct answer is supposed to be um, D which is not supposed to be yellow so let's go to this oh okay so we've accidentally done something wrong here make this yellow and make this um, Everest okay and now if we try that again 21 Usain Bolt 54 Everest and Amazon and we can go on forever and if you answer incorrectly on a question it will bring in that red color so thank you very much for watching please like the video if you did like it and smash the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video well we're going to be adding a winning and a losing state into our game we're also going to be editing the score variable and editing this heart um heart costume as well so stay tuned for that goodbye mm -hmm.